Sparks by Coldplay, song played on guitar. People of the world, friends and relatives, we're gonna start the song right now, on the spot, lickety split. You're gonna need a capo. So, got a capo. We're gonna put it on the sixth fret. If you haven't got a capo, you can still play it, but it's gonna sound way too deep and low. It's gonna sound like, oh, that sounds, I mean, it kind of sounds good. Well, now I'm feeling like we should learn without the capo because that sounded pretty good. We're gonna learn it with the capo. The capo goes on the sixth fret. You can still follow along without a capo. You're just, it's just gonna sound different, okay? It's gonna sound like this. I'm, why am I talking about the capo so much? It's ridiculous. In addition to using the capo, we also need to tune this bottom string, the high E string, down a full step to D. So that means without the capo, that bottom string should be a D. However, I recommend, just a little tip for when you're using the capo, go ahead and put your capo on the sixth fret and then double check your tuning. Sometimes when you put the capo on, it squeezes the strings, get things out of gets things out of whack. I'm gonna cough. <laughs> Have you ever heard a weirder cough than that? So with the capo on the sixth fret, it should be A sharp, D sharp, G sharp, C sharp, F, and then with his bottom string tuned down. G sharp. So that's crazy. That's a lot of sharps, isn't it? Let's start learning the song. First chord looks like an E minor chord. Top string is open. Middle finger, second fret on the second string from the top. Now notice I said second fret, even though we're actually up on like the eighth fret. With the capo, we count this as one and we count this as two. So second fret right there ring finger, second fret on the third string from the top, the D string, the other strings are all open. We're not gonna worry about the rhythm right now. We're gonna get to the rhythm in a minute, but first I'm just going to show you all of the chords to the intro of the song Sparks by Coldplay, the band. So play this chord for me one time, please. Beautiful job, moving on to the second chord. We wanna, we want the ring finger to play the sixth fret on the second string from the top. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this gets a little bit confusing because I think of this as the 12th fret because it's the 12th fret of my guitar, but it's the sixth fret from the capo. But we have to think of this as the sixth fret, even though it clearly is the 12th fret. You even, I have my temporary dots on there, see? Because for some reason, the maker of my guitar did not put two dots on the 12th fret. It's um, Martin, never heard of it. Well, anyway, they don't put dots on the 12th fret. I'm saying a lot of things that don't have anything to do with the song. Put your ring finger on the sixth fret of the A string, the second string from the top. Put your pointer finger on the fourth fret of the third string from the top, also known as the D string. Now here's something unpleasant that you guys are gonna hate. You wanna take your thumb Reach it up over the top of the neck and then mute the E string. I'm gonna cough again, but I'm gonna stop the video first. It was a brutal cough, so now I look a little bit like I was crying, but I wasn't, I'm not crying. I'm not crying. Uh, so you mute the top string with your thumb. You've got sixth fret and fourth fret with your ring finger and pointer finger. The bottom three strings, those high three strings are all open. However, we actually don't wanna hit Every single string, we'd love to just kind of aim for the middle four strings. The middle four strings sound the best. If you hit the bottom one, no big deal. No skin off my back. That seems like an expression that probably means something bad. I'm gonna stop using it. Uh, let's practice going from this guy up to this guy with the thumb. I sounded weird when I did it just then. Let's do it together, shall we? One, two, three, here we go. One, two, three. Three, one, two, three. Not too bad. All, I mean, it was. I did fine. I don't know how you did. One, two, three. One more time. One, two, three. One, two, three. Beautiful. This next transition is quite simple, if I do say so myself. You've got this chord all ready to go. All you're gonna do 
and slide it one fret up. So we were on six and four. It looks like 12 and 10, I know, but we're, it's six and four. Remember, we had a whole discussion about this. You just slide it one fret up. So now you're on seven and five even though it looks like 13 and 11. Why am, I, why am I playing this game with the different frets? I'm just making it more confusing for everyone, including myself. Keep your thumb muting that top string and strum all the strings again, like the middle four strings. I'm, why am I playing all these word games today where I keep, I keep saying something and then going, that's not what I mean. It, it's awful. Well, it's a pretty chord. So now we've got one, two, three, one, two, Three, one, two, three. Fantastic. I'm gonna have a sip of coffee. I'll see you in a minute. I ended up having a quick bite of food in additional to my sip of coffee. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I don't think there's any reason for me to continue living. So are you guys ready for another chord or what? Let's learn another chord. We're up here on six. Uh, no, it's not true. On seven and five. Now we're gonna go up to eight and seven. So. We were using ring finger and pointer finger. At least that's what I told you to use. I don't know what you were actually using. I would like you to slide your ring finger up to the eighth fret on the A string. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You might, look, the capo confuses things, okay? So if you just need to actually count the frets when you're using the capo, that's fine. Pretty soon you'll just memorize what it feels like, not a big deal. But don't be ashamed to just count the frets, okay? Ring finger on eight of the A string. Middle finger is on seven of the D string. Just one string behind it. You see that? Look at that little chord shape. Nothing wrong with that. Notice I'm button up against the edge of my guitar over here, but I still have room and we're not gonna go any higher than this. So we're good to go. Keep the E string muted. Strum that chord for me. That's what, these are all pretty chords. So now we've got one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, Three. It's, I'm just gliding along the A string with my ring finger, having the time of my life. Let's learn another chord. We're now gonna go to four on the A string with the ring finger, and then your pointer finger is gonna play two on the D string, the third string from the top. Continue to mute the E string with your thumb. That's, a, that's kind of a mischievous sounding chord, isn't it? Let's play these first one, two, three, four, five chords together, three beats each. One, two, three, here we go. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. This is probably a good spot for you to go, all right, I'm just gonna practice those five chords a little bit and then I'll come back to this video in a bit when I'm ready to move on. Let's learn the next thing. Let's see, we go one, two, three. I, my pick! This chord, I believe we play for six beats or what we'll do is we'll play it twice. We'll play it for three beats and then three beats again. Then you're gonna get rid of your ring finger but keep your pointer finger on the second fret of the d string and then add your middle finger to the third fret of the a string the second string from the top keep muting with your thumb and there's this beautiful chord and then we do my favorite part of the entire song we go like this i just i just love it i think it sounds like a beautiful choir of angels what i'm doing there so I've got that chord we just played where it was third fret on the A string, second string from the top, second fret on the D string, third string from the top, muting the E string, strum just the middle four strings like we talked about. Then lift up your pointer finger, but keep your middle finger there, strum that. Then lift up your middle finger. So we literally just have the open strings, but we're muting the E string. And then we strum the middle four strings there. So it's bling, bling. When Coldplay plays this live, the guy, what's his name? I think I know his name. I believe his name is Chris Martin, the person who invented my guitar. He does this, he goes, and I just love it. I love it like a duck loves moldy bread. Is that still a thing or is that kill ducks? I'm not sure. Have I, when I was a child and we went to the lake and we threw old bread out in the lake for the ducks, was I just murdering ducks? It's entirely possible. I don't do it anymore. I'm more conscientious about my duck 
murders these days, guys. Anyway, uh, what was I talking about? Oh, so here's what he does live, and so I'm going to share this little thing with you because I think it's very nice. Instead of just playing like that, we're gonna start with the pointer finger off of the D string, strum the chord, and then immediately hammer onto the second fret. So it goes like this. Oh, you hear that? If you're not familiar with hammer-ons, that's just where you play a string without your finger, play or a chord or whatever, and then right after you play the chord, you're just gonna smash your finger down right on the string, right on the fret where you want it to be. It takes practice because if you miss or if it bounces off or if something terrible happens, it doesn't sound good, but you can, you can mess around with going, you might hear me do that when we play through the song. Let's play, that is, that is the end of the introduction of the song. We are, now, we are now heading into the verse of the song, which starts with a V, V for verse. Let's play the intro though, all the way through without the strumming pattern one time. One, two, three, here we go. One, two, three, 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 one, two. same chord, one, Two, three. We did it. We did it. What we're gonna do now is we are going to learn the strumming for this part of the song. Are you prepared for this? So I have to confess that in the actual song, the strumming changes a little bit throughout. Sometimes he'll do an extra little strum there, an extra little strum there. We are just going to learn one consistent pattern so we can just keep the same chill thing going the whole time. And then as you get used to playing the song, you can maybe add in some special little strumming touches of your own. Here's going to be our strumming pattern for most, if not all of the song. I just touched the top of my coffee thing with the bottom of my shoe. Not sure what I'm gonna do about that. So. Our strumming pattern. Let's get to that E minor chord. Remember this guy, the first one we did. Get your E minor chord ready. I would like you to strum with me. Down, down, up, down. Got it? One, two, three, here we go. Down, down, up, down. You did it. Let's do it twice in a row now. So it's gonna be down, down, up, down, 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 up, down. The exact same thing, just twice in a row. One, two, three, here we go. It is crucial, 100% vital, that you do that exact strumming, the down, down, up, down. If you go down, up, down, up, then, then you're screwed. Then it's not gonna work. And you're gonna say, this song is dumb, it's impossible to play, and no one has taught it to me correctly. So I need you to strum down, down, up, down. The two downs in a row at the beginning. Down, down, up, down, down. We're gonna play down, down, up, down once on each chord in the intro. So it's down, down, up, down, 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 up, down. I, we did it twice for this one. Cause remember that one we're doing two times in a row. Anyway, I just lost so much energy. I feel like I need to have another bite of food. Or maybe, um, or maybe, uh, maybe some gum. People, let's keep learning the song. Does, does the intro make sense? Raise your hand if the intro doesn't make sense. Okay, uh, great, we're good. We're good to go. Now we're into the meat and potatoes of the song. The grilled hot albacore of the song. I decided to say that out loud. Look at this. Let, I'm, let me play something for you. You ready? Those are like the two main chords of the song. It's for the verse. It happens at the end of the song. It's these two beautiful chords that he does many times in a row. Check this out. Would you please? Put your ring finger on the fifth fret of the second string from the top. 
You can count. Remember, the capo's weird. One, two, three, four, five. It's right there. It looks like it's right before the 12th fret. That's the 12th. That's the fifth fret right there. Ring finger there on the fifth fret. Middle finger plays the fourth fret, this fret right behind it on the third string from the top, the D string. You see that right there? It's a nice little chord shape. A nice little chord shape right there. And then here's what you guys are gonna hate. And it's, but it's fun. It's fun to do. Just, just get over it. Just do it. Your thumb has to come up over the top. And we actually want your thumb to push on the third fret of the top string, the low E string. So ring finger on five, pointer, middle finger on four, thumb on the third fret of the top string. The rest of the strings are open. Um, I, I really, really urge you to try doing with this, this with your thumb. It makes the song just so much more flowing. It's fun to do. It looks cool. It's cool using your thumb up over here. But if you refuse to reach your thumb up over the top, what you can do, you may use your pointer finger to play that note. You can do it. It's allowed. You also can mute the top string with your thumb and just not have the top string making any noise at all. Okay? Okay, is that a good compromise? You're gonna strum down, down, up, down, 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 up, down on this chord. So that's twice on this chord. One, two, three, three, down, down, up, down. Then we switch, we switch to the other chord. Let me see, do I know what it is? I do. So the top string is now open. You're gonna get your thumb out of the way entirely. Top string open. Your ring finger's on the seventh fret of the A string, the second string from the top. It looks like it's one fret after the 12th fret, but that's the seventh fret. And then your pointer finger plays the fifth fret, the fret right on the other side of the 12th fret right there on the D string, the third string from the top. Top string open, bottom string's all open. And there's our chord. Down, down, up, down, 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 up, down. So. We want to do a vamp here. What is a vamp? Is that like a vampire? No, it's not a vampire. It's when you do just a short little musical thing over and over and over again for a while. So we're gonna do a little vamp between the first chord and the second chord. Just strumming each one twice through the pattern. So things to notice here. Notice my thumb on the top string. I lost the rhythm, sorry. And then I get rid of my thumb. See how my thumb just gets out of the way? The other thing to notice is notice how my pointer finger is taken over from my middle finger. We've got middle finger doing the work, pointer finger doing the work. Middle finger doing the work, pointer finger doing the work. Let's do this. Mm, I believe that we should do this four times in a row, slowly. You and I together. You might not get all the chords, but you know what? You're gonna get some of the chords and then and then you're gonna get better at it. One, two, three, here we go. One, two, three, down, down, up, down. Ho! Sparks. Coldplay. Two more times. Is his name Chris Martin? I feel like, I feel like it might be Chris Martin. Greg Martin, Steve, Steve, it's Steve Martin. I knew it. I think his name is Martin Short. I believe the lead singer from Coldplay is named Chevy Chase. So you play the intro, which we discussed. Then you're actually gonna do that vampire that we just did. You're gonna do that four times like we just did. Then the actual verse of the song starts. The verse of the song, stong, the verse of the song starts with those two chords. Let's see how many times it goes. A blah, 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 blah. A blah, 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 blah. Twice. So in the verse, you do that those times, Spanish for two, surprised you didn't know that. And then we're gonna go to this very nice little chord. It's a good dissonant. Oh. Here's what we do. We do it twice. Then that second chord. So we're on the second chord, which is open, seven, five. 
and then open, 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 open. So here's what's gonna happen here. It's a little bit of work, you can handle it. Your pinky is going to go to the seventh fret right below your ring finger. So keep your ring finger there, put your pinky on the seventh fret on the third string from the top, right below it. Take your pointer finger, move it to the next string. So now it's on the third string from the bottom, the G string. And then your thumb is gonna come up and play whatever fret that is, the fifth fret on the top string. So we've got fifth fret, seventh fret, seventh fret, fifth fret. We're also, those are all the, the frets are all surrounding that 12th fret of your guitar. Bottom couple strings are still open. And that's the chord. We're gonna strum down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down. So we actually do that chord four times in a row. <sighs> this chord's kind of tough, huh? If you need to, if your thumb is just not cooperating, you may mute the top string with your thumb instead of pushing on the fifth fret. But I think it sounds better if you push on the fifth fret. Sparks by Coldplay. Hi, my name's Stuart. Like and subscribe. If you find, if you find this content to be useful, consider liking or subscribing to my YouTube channel. Hi. Sparks by Coldplay. After we strum this chord four times through the pattern, we're gonna go back to the first chord of the verse. That was the three, five, four chord. Do the strumming pattern twice on it. Down, down, up, down, 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 up, down. Then we have what might be our last new chord of the song. Got your fingers in the location of that, that first chord. You just played it twice. Then put your pinky right below your ring finger on the fifth fret on the third string from the top and take your middle finger, move it down to the next string. So now it's on the fourth fret of the G string, the third string from the bottom. We've got this chord. It sounds very similar to the chord we just played. Just a little bit different. So we're gonna go first chord then switch. At this point in the song, we start the entire verse all over again. Let's play the verse together to make sure we all understand how it works. So check this out. One, two, three, I'll talk us through it. First chord, twice, then up to the fifth and the seventh fret, down. Then back to the first one, up to the second one. Then the crazy one with the thumb like that. We're gonna do this one four times, remember. Then back to the first chord. And then that slightly varied first chord. How'd it go? Did it go okay? Did you, do you understand the verse? Uh, and then if you recall what I just said a moment ago, we just do the whole verse over again. We just do the exact same thing another time, an additional time as well, also. It's time for the chorus of the song. You're, you're like, Stuart, you just showed me so many chords that I've never heard of in my entire life, and now you're expecting me to learn an entire new section of the song? Well, yes and no. This next section, while it is the chorus, it's almost exactly the same as the intro. Intro, remember it? It was this thing, it was the... Ooh, that was that sounded bad what I just did. You're like, okay, I remember playing it, but I don't actually remember how it goes. I don't remember how to play it. And well, it sounds to me like you're gonna have to go back and review the intro then. Cause check out, here's the chorus. We've got our E minor type chord, one, two, three, then we go up to six and, f no, six and four. Is that right? Yeah, si my computer! Okay, six and four like that, remember? Then you move up to seven and five, down, down, up, down. Then you go up to eight and seven, down, down, up, down. Then you go to four and two, down, down, up, down. Do it twice. Do, do you remember that kind of sort of like literally, honestly, truly, it's exactly the same as the intro. So just go back to the intro and relearn it there instead of me going through the whole thing now. I'll just spend all of the time here 
talking about how you should go back to the intro and learn it. All right, that's gonna get real annoying real fast. My, I found a staple. I found a staple in the ground. Where do you think that came from? I'm gonna go ahead and throw it over there. We play through the, the intro again. So we're on the, here, I'm gonna, here's the end of the intro. We have the fourth fret and the second fret. We're going down, down, up, down, 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 up, down. Then we go to third fret on the A string, second fret on the D string. Now, when we learned the intro, we went like this. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna have this chord where it's top strings muted, third fret on the A string, second fret on the D string. We're gonna strum that. At least two times. Let's see, we go. Twice, we do twice on this without doing any of that fancy. We don't do that yet. We just do this chord twice through the pattern. One, two, three, down, down, up, down. Then we do the whole intro again. But this time, we do that little fill thing at the end. So, in case I didn't make myself clear when I said it like 10,000 other times, the chorus to the song is exactly the same as the introduction to the song. The only difference is that when we get to the last chord, we strum it twice. and then we play the entire intro over again. When we play the intro over again the second time, it literally is exactly the same as when we played it in the intro. Time for the second verse. Second verse starts off the same as the first verse. We play this twice. Remember that? It's exactly the same. Nothing is different. We go to this same crazy chord right here. And then remember this chord. So the first half of the second verse, exactly the same as the first half of the first verse. However, the second half of this second verse is a little bit different. Check it out. Let's see if I remember it. We're gonna start off with the same first chord. We go down, down, up, down, 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 up, down. We go to the same second chord, which was the seventh fret and the fifth fret. Down, down, up, down, 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 up, down. But, but then you're gonna go like this. So we just did the second chord. Instead of going back to the first chord, you're gonna get rid of your ring finger, put your middle finger on the fifth fret Wait, no, one, two, three, four, five, six. the sixth fret of the A string. So we've got top string open, sixth fret on the second string from the top, and then fifth fret on the third string from the top. Your pointer finger stays where it was. We're gonna strum down, down, up, down on that chord. Just one time, I think. No, it might be twice. I really should plan this out before I do it. Let's see. It's gonna be twice. Guys, it's gonna be twice. So, two times on the pattern. One, two, three, one, two, three. Then, you're gonna move so that both of your fingers are on the one, two, three, four, fifth fret. Is that where I come? Look, look, I have to tell you, the capo's, the capo with the dot. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, they're both on the fifth fret. You have a couple options here, because we were just like this, with middle finger on six, pointer finger on five. If you want, you can just slide your middle finger over like that. To me, that sounds a little weird, so what I, it doesn't, sorry, sorry, let me, I misspoke. Guys, I misspoke. To me, that feels a little weird, so what I do is I just relocate my fingers like that. I put pointer finger on the A string, middle finger on the D string. I feel like we've reached the point in the video where I ramble more than usual and I don't make myself clear. So how about I play through this, this second half of the verse for you. Watch this. Starts with the regular first chord. One, two, three, one, two, three, up to the regular second chord. Then middle finger takes over. Then fifth fret with both fingers. And then we're gonna go to this guy again. 
remember that? It's just the regular chord we use in the verse. Then back to the regular first chord. Back to the regular last chord of the verse or whatever. Does that make sense? Uh, then they go back and they, they play a chorus again. They play a whole other chorus. And then how does the song end? That's right. The song ends with them just going... Just back and forth between those two main chords that we've done a thousand times. All right, how are we doing on time? Oh, we've just so much time. This video is like 87 minutes long. Should I play through the whole thing? Let's, with the show of hands, who thinks I should play through the whole thing? Thing. I, why'd I do that stupid thing? That doesn't make any sense. There's no, here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna play through, not like the entire song, because I don't remember how long the outro goes and stuff. I'm gonna play through most of the song. It's gonna be boring. I'm gonna not talk too much during it. Just, I think you should just leave now, and then you can just use this as like a practice thing to play along with or whatever. Just, just leave. Oh, look at that. I got some good news. Some good news about our real ID appointment at the DMV. A one, two, three, from the top, Sparks. where the singing starts. It goes, a blah, 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 blah. That's not me making fun of him. Like, he's a good singer. That's just, it's just what I felt like doing. It was annoying. Okay, look at this. Remember that chord? You're like, I don't remember any of this, dude. Don't call me dude. Call me, um, I don't know. You can call me dude. We're at the second half of the first verse now. Play. I think I did that. Was that the right number of times? Maybe. I might have messed up. Look, if I messed up, contact my lawyers, okay? Hey! Get ready for the chorus. Here comes the chorus now. Oh, how pretty. Now watch this. I'm gonna start the chorus over again. Oh, yeah, here we go. And the moment you've all been waiting for, here it is right here. Oh, <laughs> I blew the dismount there. We're in the second verse now. Wait, actually, we're in like the second interlude because we haven't the singing for the second verse hasn't started we're just doing our little vampire before we go into the next part we got one more little vampire here now the second verse is officially starting blah bling bling blong the sparks 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 and watch this this guy this chord we all know and love my sunglasses just fell Okay. Now here's the second half of the verse. This is where things get interesting. First chord is regular. Second chord is regular. This chord is not regular. stop there because nothing else new happens in the song. This has been Sparks by Coldplay. I just kicked all my equipment. The time has come to me to bid toward you a farewell unto with thine for thusly. Have a great weekend. When I don't know when this is coming out. It might be like a Monday and then that made no sense and then you could be watching at a different time. I should have stopped talking ages ago.